So 1 half x minus 4 equals 7. Okay, go ahead. Tell me what to do, Emma. I had the opportunity through my doctoral program to compare math education in Singapore with that in the United States for a whole semester. What education reform in those countries has looked like is teachers teach approximately 60% of the day, and the other 40% of the day teachers are given opportunities to mentor new teachers to videotape their lessons and sit together in a room and tear them apart and say this worked, this didn't work, what, what could we do better next time? The thing that we miss and need is more time for collaboration. Okay, you ready? So Miss Foz, how's it going? It's going good. How's it going with you? Well, it's going pretty good. I, you know, I'm kind of getting back in the swing of things after break. You know, I had a great vacation. How about you? I did too. I had, I had a great vacation. We didn't go anywhere. So it was I was nice the 2008 day. Nebraska Teacher of the Year. I think it was a combination of things that helped me become an excellent teacher. First of all, it was time and experience. Administrators who believed in me, who let me lead in different positions in the school, who believe in a teacher-leader model. The opportunity to make mistakes. I feel very comfortable when an administrator comes and observes me because I know that if I, if I screw up because I'm brave enough to try something I've never tried before, that's going to be encouraged and that's okay. This morning, Kelsey said to me, how are you, Ms. Schleter? Are you having a good day? She did a good job. Thank you. Work, yep. Where do you work? What do you do to keep busy? Ready? Hobbies. Hobbies, okay. I work with kids from ninth grade through twelfth grade. A lot of my kids with special needs, I'll have them on my IEP case management load for all four years. And from the, the day they step foot in my room in ninth grade, I'm always thinking about the day that they walk out when they graduate in twelfth grade. And it's my job to prepare them to be socially independent, to be, you know, uh, functionally job-wise independent, if they're going to college, to be prepared for college. We do have kids coming to school with lots of different needs and sometimes they're quite staggering. Kids who are homeless, kids who are drug addicted, kids who have drug addicted parents. So obviously those are challenges too. When I see them out in the community and they're independent, they're not in jail, uh, they're earning their own living, they're not on public assistance, all those things give me sources of satisfaction.